Hello viewers, Namaskar and welcome to another episode of Curries with Bumbi. Today I will teach you coriander chicken curry. This is again a very quick and simple recipe but the end result will be really delicious. For this recipe we need one and a half pounds which is around 700 grams of boneless skinless chicken thighs. For making the coriander sauce we need one bunch of coriander leaves, one green chili, four cloves of garlic, half teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi, half teaspoon of paprika powder or red chili powder, one tablespoon of coriander seeds, one and a half teaspoon of salt, three fourth cup of plain yogurt, about two inches of ginger and eight cloves of garlic, one cup full of finely chopped onions, half teaspoon of freshly crushed black pepper, one tablespoon of butter, one teaspoon of lemon juice and five tablespoons of oil. Here I've taken olive oil. You can take any oil of your choice. Now let's start our prep. Cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces. I prefer keeping little bit of fat on the chicken as it increases the flavor of the curry. I also like using chicken thighs as they turn out to be juicier than the breast pieces. You can even use bone-in chicken pieces. In that case, the cooking time will be a bit more. Next, we will make the coriander sauce. In a blender jar, add the bunch of coriander leaves, stalks and all, green chili and the four cloves of garlic. With little water, blend everything into a paste. Blend the ginger and garlic as well with little water. Coming to the marination part now, in the chicken add 3 4 cup of yogurt, 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste that you had blended earlier, 1 tablespoon of the coriander sauce, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of chili powder and 1 tablespoon of oil. After that mix everything very well and marinate it in the fridge for a minimum of half an hour. The more you marinate it, the better it will be. Now let's start cooking. In a pan, heat 4 tablespoons of oil, then add the finely chopped onions and stir it on medium heat. You do not have to brown the onions very much. When the onions are fried a little, add the ginger garlic paste to it and stir it again on medium heat. Stir until the mixture looks little dry. Then add the marinated chicken thighs. After that, increase the heat to high and stir it for a few minutes. Add salt. Though I have used one teaspoon of salt here, I will always recommend you to add salt a little less in the beginning. You can always add some later if it is little less. Next, cover the pan and keep it covered for 15 minutes on medium heat. In the meantime, add 1 tablespoon of coriander seeds in a pan on low heat. I like grinding my spices fresh as I feel they are more flavorful if ground fresh. But you can always use store bought coriander powder. Take the pan off the heat as soon as you see the seeds are turning little brown. And always keep on low flame. If your spices turn too dark brown, then your whole curry will turn bitter. Let the seeds cool down a little and then grind it in your spice grinder. In this 15 minutes, stir the chicken from time to time. After 15 minutes, uncover and add half teaspoon of salt to the coriander leaf sauce that you had blended earlier. Add the sauce to the chicken. Then add the ground coriander powder. Increase the heat to high and fry the chicken with the coriander sauce. I always add the coriander sauce at the end because I feel the flavor of coriander is lost if added in the beginning. Fry the chicken very well with the coriander sauce until you see the gravy is thickening a little. Next, add half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, about one teaspoon of lemon juice and finally add 1 tablespoon of butter and keep it covered for 5 minutes on very low heat. After 5 minutes, 
your coriander chicken curry is done so simple and so quick the chicken also turns very soft and it will melt in your mouth serve it with rice or roti the ingredient proportions are given in the description box below i will love to hear your comments and write to me in the comment section below if you want me to teach any particular recipe of your choice please give me a thumbs up if you liked my video thanks for watching bye bye